Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to uh, thank Music Niagara for inviting me uh, this afternoon here at a beautiful, I can't say enough about the winery, how gorgeous it is, and how what an important role the winery plays in arts and culture in our community of Niagara Lake and right across the province of Ontario. I'd also like to thank the, wine, uh, the Ontario Wine Council uh, for uh, their support. And I'd also like to say to Niagara College, uh, who are here, um, this is what they do. They go to college, uh, they get educated, and now they come and do these presentations. So people like us, who are sitting home, uh, will be able to watch this incredible talent, this young talent that's behind us, that are here from Toronto today. Uh, so I want to say thank you to the uh, college as well for volunteering. And equally important, I believe, is the or not just the volunteers uh, to make this run every day, but for our sponsors. In particular, through COVID-19, uh, it has really hurt us on, on being able to uh, uh, have ticket sales and have where you can charge people to come because uh, we all want to be safe. And I was asked why I left the mask on, so I have to explain that, I think. I left the mask on because it's my part of being culture. Uh, the, this is a mustache. Uh, I don't know if anybody can tell that, but that's the mustache. And so I'll take it off to show you I do have a mustache. So that's the reason why I wear this. So I'm supporting arts and culture, but I'm also uh, making sure what's the most important thing right now is to have days like this, but also to stay safe and make sure that we respect each other by wearing our masks, social distancing, and doing all that stuff. So I want to say once again, thanks for inviting me. Uh, I just, I love to see young people coming to perform. Uh, that's really what it's about. And quite frankly, my writing is all about arts and culture, whether it's a Shaw, whether it's the wineries, whether it's our young people that are performing. Uh, until we can get a cure for COVID-19, this is the way we have to do things. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we can't see this incredible talent and spread it across the community. So thanks very much for having me. Thanks for what everybody does here. Uh, thanks again, I appreciate it. So thank you. So all of us had to leave school in March, and we, we all go to school in the United States. So Emma and I go to school in Philadelphia, and Jasmine and Lynn go to school in New York City. Um, and so we came home, and pretty much we're, everyone, the whole world essentially was you know, quarantining, and everyone's staying home and never going out, which is what they should have been doing, so that's good. But you know, in terms of our musical education, which revolves pretty heavily around you know, being able to collaborate and play with other other musicians, um, that was pretty badly impacted by the whole pandemic. And so, you know, initially we got together trying to put together a virtual um, performance where we would all record our parts and stitch them together somehow. Uh, that was pretty hard since, uh, Emma, you're pretty good at the technological stuff, but even, even at that it's, it's tough to, you know, do those sorts of things without specific expertise. Uh, but as COVID restrictions lightened, we had an opportunity to sort of bubble together and to start meeting in person. Um, and we actually rehearsed and put together several works and we were all pretty happy about it. What initially was just something we did for fun, and of course we're still doing it for fun, but we were so grateful to have an opportunity to perform here at Music Niagara. And yeah, so here's, the, here's what we did, I guess. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.
Uh, folks, welcome to this performance by Music Niagara. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. We've been sitting here. Hard to believe that these four young musicians have been playing together for just a few months. Three of them are graduates of our Performance Academy. Uh, one is not. Three of them are now teaching back at our Performance Academy. Um, we're hoping, in fact, we're gonna speak to Addis, our founder, that this group is gonna come back next year when we have an actual performance live with people and two or three hundred people, which is normal for us. Anyway, another place we have to thank is Shadow de Charm. We are so lucky to have this in Niagara Lake, often voted the prettiest town in Canada. We have fabulous music. If you look out here, we have gorgeous vineyards to overlook. Uh, so what could be more pleasant than listening to great music in a great little town at a great winery. So thank you for watching. Check our website and look at the other performances that we have on there. We're going to have, I think, 13 all together, Ginny, by the time we're done. So folks, go on the website and have a look. Thank you again for watching, and please remember Music Niagara. <laughs>